beautiful people so today we're going to be cooking plantain fufu and banga soup so we start by washing off our plantain peeling it and we have to blend it now there are two ways you can prepare your plantain fufu this is the wet method which you peel the plantain and blend it fresh the other method is you can peel your plantains and you have to dry them when it's really dried like under the sun when it's really dried you grind it it becomes powder form and then you cook it the way you cook for corn. but this is the method i'm going to be using today i use both methods um the powdered one was just finished so i had to go in with the fresh method preparing the fresh one so that's it you peel off your plantain you chop them into small pieces you put a lot of water before blending it just to make your blending process easier for you because as it gets as you as it blends um it absorbs water or what i don't know how to explain it but you put more, lots of water when it's smooth you add it to the rest of it and you that's it your plantain fufu is literally the mixture is literally ready all he has to do now is to boil so i'm just giving it a quick stir to mix everything together i started blending the rest of the fufu before i started filming the video and while that is boiling we we'll move over to preparing our banga soup now the banga had already been washed and boiled before i started vlog vlogging the process so i was just taking out of the pot where it was boiled to start pounding it now the pounding process begins you have to pound and pound and pound and pound until it gets really soft just to make the extraction process easier for you to so you are able to extract the juice from the chaffs so it has to get really really soft so you have to prepare your hands your muscles your power your everything to pound and pound and pound till it gets really really soft so you're sure that you can extract the juice easily this is the texture you want it to look like to be sure you can extract let's check out our plantain fufu while that is being done so this is what the plantain fufu is looking like um, it has started boiling so this is what you get once it starts boiling and like any other normal fufu obviously it starts thickening around the sides of the pot that's how it starts thickening up so i just had to give it a quick stir and move over to the washing of the banga now you're supposed to use warm water to wash the banga but here the water was too hot so i had to add a little bit of cold water to make it warm so that putting my hands inside it's not going to burn me so you have to start now this is the extraction process you're trying to take out all the juice you can from the chaffs of the banga so once you're sure that you have done that you now squeeze out the chaffs of the banga you set it aside because you're definitely still going to use it you're not done using it you're definitely still going to use it you have to set it aside and then you have to sieve the juice you have gotten just to make sure that um you get the clear juice and you don't have a lot of particles inside your banga soup so once you have sieved all of that let's go and check our plantain for food so this is what it's looking like it had boiled for a couple of minutes 
and like i said it starts ticking in around the side it starts getting thick around the side and do not be scared it's going to get smooth i know some people can start panicking now like oh um their planting for fall is bad or they have spoiled it it has lumps do not be scared eventually the lumps are going to disappear when you start mixing thoroughly moving over to our banger once you're done squeezing then you put it you put your hot water again and like i mixed the first time this time you're not going to add so much water because you just want to take out the remaining juice you don't need so much water just so your banger soup does not stay unnecessarily long on the fire trying to boil for the excess water to come out to get so you don't add so much water when you're washing off the chaps the second time and obviously you have to see if the juice gotten to remove all the particles after that let's check on our plantain for food again so this is the texture we have now it has been boiling for quite a while and it's ready to be removed from the fire and to mix properly so i took it down from the fire and I had to now mix it properly so this is where you would mix it properly so that it doesn't have lumps all the lumps you were seeing before this is the process where it's gonna disappear so you have to mix it thoroughly just so it becomes smooth you have that smooth texture and you don't have lumps in your fufu it's not so difficult to cook it's not complicated it's quite easy to cook and for it to be smooth so when i was done carry the pot and put it back on fire for it to boil and this is my banga soup i put on the fire it had to start boiling and plantain fufu was on this side boiling so this is the texture what it looks like as you can see all the lumps that were there parrot now are no longer there it is now smooth and looking almost like fufu corn the just that you can see the plantain black um seeds in it so it's almost ready already and the banga soup is boiling as you can see it has reduced it's going to boil and evaporate you don't have to cover your pot when you're cooking banga soup it's going to boil and evaporate so you get your consistency you want so plantain fufu was ready took it out from the fire put it down and i gave it one last mix before putting it into the flax just to mix everything properly again and while it's soft while it's hot it's really soft it's like fufu corn but once it gets cold it hardens up just like fufu corn once it gets cold it hardens up and it has that texture of fufu corn but i think it draws a little bit more than what fufu corn would normally do this is so delicious you try it and it is very very healthy for people who are trying to watch their weight and all of that my phone battery died while i was cooking the banga soup but yeah this is the end product of the banga soup this is what it's looking like this is the consistency i wanted it it had boiled down to this and i added my ingredients after that i eventually went and had my bath and i was ready to step out to go and see my friend who was supposedly <laughs> she claimed she was sick <laughs> anyway she was genuinely sick don't mind me laughing <laughs> so i had to step out and go and see her she was staying around the alcona in area and i can remember a subscriber of mine had once asked me in the comment section to film about that area but i was just so busy and i haven't had time to go there and today i was going to see my friend and i was like you know what i'm just probably going to film the half first part of the video yeah first part of that area yeah and another time i'm going to film the other part so leaving my house you pass through the cdc camp area yeah these are cdc houses behind is the real camp itself where you have where the workers stay and that's their club that's their club where i've just passed them um this is famous buta hospital junction i have you guys must have seen this place a couple of times on this channel i had to drop at fako bakery 
to get some stuff for her as she said she was sick <laughs> and you do not go and see somebody sick empty-handed african culture i don't know if it's only my mom who told me that but i know it's a general african culture you just have to go with something <laughs> so i just entered this bakery is quite a small bakery around just to get anything i could get to go and see her because that girl <laughs> i'm very sure she just she just missed me and wanted to see me and she said she was sick but anyways there you have it i got into the bakery picked up a couple of things and off i went to see her now family members in buying these things i completely forgot that this particular friend of mine does not like dairy products as in milk all these milk drinks dole anything that has any drink that has milk in it she does not like it it irritates her and i completely forgot in my head i'm like uh, are you gonna eat these things empty let me be a kind friend <laughs> let me be a kind friend because i'm normally not this kind let me be a kind friend and get you something that you push down with and i took dole family members only for me to reach there and she said me like carol how come you forgot that i do not eat or drink dairy products i'm like mm. so at the end of the day i still had it <laughs> so i was still buying for myself i collected the things and i was done here i had to go now to the Alcona Inn quarters which you're definitely going to see in this video now this is medicine shop i had spoken about this place in one of my videos but passively because i was on a bike and today since i had to move from faku bakery to Alcona Inn which is not far they are just neighbors i decided to show you guys this is the lawn area where people Host their wedding receptions their events whatever event you want that lawn area the whole of this lawn area that's where you put your canopies it's quite a beautiful place when it's decorated and all that stuff giving that wedding vibe it's so so beautiful those who like outdoor events i'm sure you're definitely going to love that place so this is the entrance of our corner in it has two entrances and in this video you're going to see the first part this is which is the first entrance and the second entrance you're going to see it in another video so just stay tuned on this channel this is the first entrance which is by the baptist church the baptist church is on your right and medicine shop is on your left and the entrance to our corner in is between those two things so this is what the area looks like when you're entering from this first entrance this is what it looks like it's quite a quiet quartier or area it has more of residential houses you can see like you can literally see people who have built on the hills and limbe from this entrance you can see all of that and there is some construction happening around here which you can eventually see as well and then crystal gardens if you're famous or if you know limbe a little bit you must have heard of crystal gardens i've mentioned it as well on this channel in a couple of videos that that water passing behind there as you can see that water where you see people doing laundry carrying water and all of that stuff that water is the crystal gardens water it passes behind here onto the bridge where i passed the last time and i showed you guys crystal gardens this is the water that passes behind people's houses so around this alcona in area you can be in your house and water is passing behind your house and you can just go behind your house and do your laundry there and all of that stuff the only disadvantage is when it gets rainy really rainy of course the water rises and if your house is so close by it <laughs> sorry for you but anyway so this is the road this is like the bad road of this area this is where most cars avoid passing on this particular area because if your car is so low it's going to spoil your car so they always pass the other entrance of our corner in which is this road on my right when you pass you enter our corner in from the other entrance from this road on my right this is where you come out for you to continue Hope you love this video.